I'm going to try to be a little bit less shaky cam, but welcome to my extended review. I am actually going to review my new printing area. So this is my uh, 3D printer, the Snapmaker. Now the Snapmaker is a three-in-one printer in the sense that you can replace this module right here uh, with a laser cutter or a CNC carving. In this case, it has the dual color uh, 3D print head installed, but I don't actually have the second PLA cartridge. There it is, the blue. It's not currently connected to the printer. I will load some. You can see it was loaded, but it snapped, which happens when the PLA gets dry. But this is one of my 3D printers, the Snapmaker, and I'm going to step back because I put this into my work area so it was easier to get to. And then I unboxed this one last week, and this is the Creality Halot 14K plasma printer. It's all set and ready to rock and roll. I'm going to print a couple of solid objects that I've been thinking about. And then this is the other Creality printer over here, which is the Creality uh, K1 Max. Uh, the K2 is coming out. Uh, so in this case, let's let's go ahead and go to settings. And again, I'm trying to keep this. Uh, you can do self checks. You can do all this stuff. But what I'm going to do is I am going to look and see what I could do. So these are the options that I can do in settings, which is pretty cool. And you'll notice in this printer. It also has, although it's an easier menu, but it's settings as well. And you can see I have all the options uh, that I can use as well for the Creality Halot printer. And then finally, um, going back to the other touch screen, this is the uh, Snapmaker screen. The Snapmaker has a slightly larger uh, screen than the other two, which I really like this. This is really easy to work with. Uh, it's a it's it's pretty pretty cool. So let's look for firmware and it says oh you have the latest version installed now of the three the snap maker has the largest print bed So this is the print bed the snap maker can print, you know to this full bed. So that gives you a lot more space um, This the Creality will print into the bed uh, It is a plasma printer. So let me open it up here uh, so you can see what it looks like on the opening side. And there it is. Now with this, you have the head and then there's the film. And basically you pour the plasma in there. The unit comes down and, and uh, it uh, will do that. And then, of course, uh, the other Creality. And I'll open it up again. And you can see it has a smaller print area. Um, but... I will say the thing about the Creality of the K1 is that this this printer is fast. Uh, where uh, previously I was using the AnchorMate, and it would take you know four hours. This one can do the same print in about an hour, um, which I I just find incredibly amazing. So again, that's the uh, Creality Halot. And of course, here is back to the Snapmaker. And again, with the Snapmaker, it's a simple process of I just unclip this and unclip this, and it allows me to change the print head so I can have the laser or uh, the CNC carving. Uh, and then you can see I have a latch here. The reason this is here is just to hold that from shaking off. It does on occasion shake off. Um, you see the blue is there tightly on. Um, I don't know why it does shake off every once in a while, but, you know, 3D printers have a fairly high amount of uh, uh, vibration when they print. So there we go. The 3D printing area, let me see if I can step back without running into, um, without running into uh, the back right behind me in, in, in the new house is the laundry room. But that's all three printers, and then you can also see my display area in the back. And if you look, there's a window with lights, and then coming out of the light is, of course, um, there's a bunch of objects. It's a couple of ships, big fan of ships. Anyway, this is my extended review. Thank you so much.